Hi guys and happy Saturday. Today is January the 22nd and I'm going to try to do this live without even um, doing a test run because I want to get this in real quick before my husband gets back from his walk with the dog. Okay, so we're going through our tour of the mini catalog of the stamp sets that I bought. So we are now on page 40 and this is called Amazing Silhouettes. And this one I actually didn't buy. I got this one for being part of um, On Stage at Home. So this is what we were given as one of our price patrol gifts. But it is part of a bundle. There is an amazing die set if you want to do it as a bundle that has the thanks the you are amazing in both the, um, the uh, shadows and the fonts. Very cool. So I am going to be using the Amazing Silhouettes a stamp set of three, and it's kind of like a negative. So it you stamp and it leaves, you know, the image unstamped. All right, so I'm going to use the Stamparatus for this. Like I said, I haven't um, practiced this, so we're just on the fly. This is a very vanilla, thick cardstock. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. That's going to be our base. And I'm going to be using, uh, I don't know if this is the copper or the bronze. I forget what they call it. And the evening evergreen. And then from the other in colors, I'm using pale papaya, pale papaya, sorry, fresh freesia, soft succulent. Now these are all supposed to be three by four and three fourths. But as you can see, I cut one wrong. So we're just going to deal with it. And I'm using my Stamparatus. I'm going to be using the basic gray to see how that looks. And if not, I may re-record this and then we'll be using Memento as always. But I want to use the gray because it's nature. All right, so I'm not... Oh, good. It's still on. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I'm going to use a Stamparatus because we're going to do a cut on this. All right, so I have my basic gray on there. I'm going to go ahead and put this to that corner so that's going to be how I line it up and I'm going to stamp oh I should have my little uh dry erase dry erase board eraser to help with this but let's see if how that goes all right looks pretty good I think that's how it's supposed to be on that side yeah it does look like it's a little bit more modeled so I'm just leave it like that I'm going to say that's fine so let's go ahead, go over here. Now on the Stamparatus, I have taken that foam insert out because this is a clear mount stamp, a cling stamp. So you don't want to have that extra uh, height on that because it won't stamp right. So let's go ahead and make sure that's lined up. If you don't think it looks right, you can always stamp again. That's the great thing about the Stamparatus. All right, so that looks good. And now let's get my pale papaya. And I always put a stamp case underneath my Stamparatus plate just so you have a little bit of a level playing field when you're inking up. All right, so let's go like this. All right, I'm going to go with it, just for time's sake. Okay, so now, of course, we're going to clean this off. Um, I'm just going to close it for now and put it off to the side that way. I'm not worrying about it. Bring out my cutter. So I have these three. And I'm going to just go ahead and do some cuts. Now, I think I'm going to do, because you all know I love, that's not going to cut off much. All right, I'm going to put the corner in there, the top left corner there, the right there, and I'm going to cut along. Oh, I think that's way too much. All right, let me go ahead and put this at one and a half. So the one and a half mark and the bottom corner there. There, I like that a little bit better. So we're gonna cut that. And then 
trying to do, let me see, let me just eyeball it. So I have it like that. So let me go ahead and go like this. Oh, wrong way to do it, guys. Look at that. Not pretty. All right. So guess what? Because I can do that, and because of the miracle of the Stamparatus, let me just go ahead and restamp this way. Uh, this is what you get when you're on the fly, people. This is what you get. So let's go ahead, put that corner up there, put that right next to it. And we'll ink it up. Now, I don't have my stamp case underneath it this time, so you'll just see. It just, I'm always afraid of breaking a plate. Not that you're going to, they're very strong plates, but I just like having that extra support underneath there. All right, so that looks lined up. You know how they say, measure twice, cut once? You should view it twice and then cut once. That's what you should do. I'm going to sneeze now. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, excuse me. So sorry. So there's wonderful sinuses going on here in the Chicagoland area. We're warm today, so of course it's acting up a little bit. Okay, there. Now we're getting a little bit more where I want to be. So let's go ahead. And then on this one, go ahead and grab this again. I think I'm just trying to cut... A little bit a little bit on the bottom like that okay. all right that looks pretty good now you can see it's not perfectly lined up it's not going to be, and it's not going to be that big of a deal either, just so you know. All right, so let's take out the stamp and seal. Let me make sure, because that should be pretty well lined up in that corner. So let me go ahead and put some stamp and seal down. And this, I also like using my cutter on this too. Uh, let's see. Just to kind of have it lined up. All right. That's why I always have so much uh, stickies on my cutter. So, and now let's go ahead let me bring out the silicone mat because I now have tape underneath there. I don't want it to stick down. Sorry, guys. I'm really sniffling now. I am so sorry. All right. So it looks like right about there. Let's make sure because you don't want to push it down until you know you're at the spot you want to be at. All right, perfect. Now, like I said, this is three by four and three fourths. So I'm gonna take my evergreen and I'm gonna make this, ooh, that's the lid. So I make this five. by three and a fourth. Make sure before I put the remaining tape on, that looks right. So you already have some sticky parts here, so just add on to the other. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is what happens sometimes with my sinuses. All right, I'm hovering. Looks good. Now I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger here. Now I do have some marks on 
here. You can take your, um, this is just a cloth I have for glasses, but I haven't stored this in the best possible way, so it's going to get some indentations on it. You know, it happens. All right, so then we're going to make this our main layer, which is five and a fourth by four. And see, it's already there. So it's going to be a little bit of a bigger one, and it's not going to be even, but that's all right. So let's go ahead, put this down. Oops. Good thing that's in the middle of the card. So that'll be just some extra sticky for it. You know what? I probably should have popped this up, but too late now. We'll just go ahead. You know what? It doesn't matter. Even if they're sticky under there, I still can pop it up. Because you know what? That's just how versatile these Stampin' Up! products are. And these are from... These aren't from a paper pumpkin, so these peel off the packings really easily. Sometimes I think the paper pumpkins, you really have to use your piercing tool. Just because, I don't know, because it's gone through an extra set of processing. I don't know. I'm going to do it, maybe I'll do it off the slant a little bit. Like that. And then if you want a little greeting, you can. But there you are. And then... When you go back, now see, I would have to do this one the same way. I would have to stamp on this. But then you have pieces for another card. So I would put this back in the Stamparatus, line it up, and then I would go ahead and complete that card like that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. Have a great day and have a very safe weekend.